The best fed and housed stock with the best genetic potential will not grow and produce efficiently if they become diseased or infested with parasites. Therefore, good poultry health management is an important component of poultry production. In this video, we discuss the factors to be considered so that antibiotics can be reduced or completely avoided, thus reducing the cost of production from day one up to menopause. Quickly. Let us understand what's a disease and what are the main causative agents of a disease. We have three types of disease causes. We have deficiencies or essential nutrients such as vitamins, minerals or other nutrients. We have got consumption of toxic substances such as poisons which is common in feed and in water in case of imbalances in chemicals used to treat water or in case of poor mixtures of drugs then that will result to a toxic substance physical damage or injury due to environmental extremes most common in cage farming or most common during brooding when chicks or birds will tend to get choked by hiding under the jikos and they get burnt or the chicks will tend to be pressed by the three ply or the wood chippings or rather the wood that is used as a brooder. Internal and external parasites. This is very common in lice as external parasites and worms such as liver fluke and roundworms inside which cause blockage of the intestines and thus it affects normal digestion. Infectious diseases caused by microorganisms such as bacteria and viruses. What are the causes of infectious diseases? And what is an infectious disease? An infectious disease is the most dangerous disease and this is where you as a farmer should pay much attention in control and avoiding of the infectious disease. This is a disease that spreads rapidly from one bird to another especially in depleter or especially in flocks that are densely populated very common thing in broilers. And what are the causes of infectious diseases? Viruses, bacteria, chlamydia, fungi, protozoa, internal parasites and external parasites. By the way, very important, a virus. Antibiotics and other medicants as a rule do not affect viruses and as a consequence there are very few medications that can treat diseases caused by viruses. Although there are times when a drug may be used to control the secondary infections caused by a virus. The best way to manage diseases caused by viruses is by quarantine and, and good hygiene to lower the challenge and vaccination to maximize the bird's immunity and resistance to future challenges. Bacteria. Different types of bacteria harm the birds in two predominant ways. Those that attack and damage the bird cells or spaces between the cells and those that produce toxins or poisons that harm the birds. There are several antibiotics and other drugs that, can, that are effective against different bacteria. However, quarantine and good hygiene that lower the numbers to be targeted by the drugs are the important first lines of defense against these organisms. Chlamydia. Chlamydia are a little larger than viruses. They live inside the cells and they affect particularly cells in the respiratory system. They are the major causes of respiratory diseases, especially chronic respiratory disease and can be treated by antibiotics. Interesting. Mycoplasmas. These are single cell organisms slightly larger than chlamydia. The most commonly known disease caused by this organism is mycoplasmiosis or chronic respiratory disease CRD caused by Mycoplasma galiseptica. Diseases caused by mycoplasma organisms respond to some antibiotics, okay? These organisms do not survive long outside the host and good quarantine and hygiene procedures coupled by suitable house depopulation period 
will provide a good control. Okay? Finally, fungi. Fungi multiply by forming spores that are released and enter the local environment, especially when feed comes in contact with moisture. It forms a very conducive environment for growth of fungi. Therefore, do not feed birds with feed that has been exposed to moisture. Quickly, now, how can we prevent these diseases? By quarantine, proper hygiene, timely vaccination, preventive medication programs, or rather we call it prophylaxis, the use of suitable monitoring program, okay? Every morning, be the first one to take a round in your farm. At midday, take a round in your farm. And in the evening, be the last one to leave your flock house and look at the birds bird by bird. Should you see any change, then consult an expert. At times we have a challenge of resistance. You're treating a body doesn't respond. You treat a body doesn't respond, okay? That's a resisting disease. There are a number of factors that influence whether a bird will succumb to a disease, okay? These include genetic resistance of the bird. That's why I always say, when you're buying chicks, kindly do not buy F2, F3, F4. Buy F1. Chicks that have come from or rather they're the first line of the parent stock, okay? Number two, the state of the well-being of the birds in the flock, all right? If your birds have been given adequate spacing, okay, 10 birds per meter square, they have been given enough room, like there is good ventilation, there is room for patching, all right? The birds will tend to be a bit resistant, unlike birds which are living in dumpy conditions, all right? Level of stress in the flock. Stress in a poultry flock can be caused by many situations, including overcrowding, environmental extremes, poor quality feed and nutrition deficiencies, harassment, and failure by shade. Okay? Or even staff react in a, in a or even staff, you know. So stress reduces the ability of the bird to fight infection by weakening the immune system, okay? Another factor is the challenge of the challenge or numbers of infectious diseases at a go, or rather we call it multiple infection, the bird. That one will quickly knock down the bird. And the level of immunity. This can be boosted through immunization. Finally, from my point of view in flock health management, disease in poultry may be one of two levels of severity. Subclinical. A subclinical disease is one where the signs are not obvious. The bird does not appear to be sick, but the infection causes slower, slower growth and drop in production. When you see these signs in your flock, know you are in trouble. Isolation. Sick birds will usually seek a quiet place where they can isolate themselves from others. Okay? Diarrhea, paralysis, sneezing or coughing, blood in in their poop, swelling in joints, injuries, loss of weight, okay, unexpected changes in food intake and water consumption. And finally, the moment you see drop in egg production or a slower growth, something is wrong. I hope you've learned something. See you in the next video.